Hi there, this is Andrea Mowry of Drea Renee Knits, and today I'm going to be showing you how I like to work a knit two together in half fisherman rib. If you are unfamiliar with half fisherman rib, I've linked a tutorial below on what that is. <laughs> So I find that my decreases look best when I work them on my fisherman rib row. So I've already worked my wrong side, which was all knits. If you were working in the round, you would have just worked your even purl round. And now you're ready to knit one below, purl one across. So technically I'm on the right side of my fabric. And when I work a knit two together, it is when I've got a purl column right here, boop, followed by a knit column, boop. Because what's gonna happen when I knit two together is it's gonna pull my knit column on top of my purl column. So what I have found is easiest to do a knit two together is to actually take this stitch from below and pull it up onto my needle and it just makes the maneuver a lot easier. So I'm gonna start off by showing this continental. So to get my stitches prepped, I'm gonna simply slip that first stitch over on my right hand needle just to get it out of the way. And then to pull this lower stitch up onto my needle, I'm going to insert my needle tip behind into the stitch below, just like that. And then I'm gonna pop both strands of yarn back over to my left-hand needle. Now that's gonna be a lot easier to maneuver. I'm gonna go ahead and return that first stitch as well. And now I simply knit two together. So I'm knitting these two columns together, which is three strands of yarn thanks to pulling that lower stitch up. And that's it. So if I hadn't done that, you don't have to do that. Um, this is what that would look like. So if I was going to again do a knit two together, what I would need to do is I would actually have to slip my needle into the stitch below and then through this next stitch and then knit them together, making sure to get all of those. Oops, and this is why. <laughs> <laughs> I just find it easier to go ahead and slip that stitch up, but do whatever works for you. So that method also works. It's just a little more finicky. All right, let's show that right-handed English style. So again, I like to go ahead and bring this lower stitch up onto my needle to make the knit two together easier. So I slip the first stitch out of the way slip my needle tip into the stitch below and pull both back up on top of the needle. Do you see how that's now stretching up onto the needle? And then I can return that first stitch back. And now I'm gonna simply knit those two stitches, which is three strands of yarn together as one. And that's it. And you can see how those are all gonna be leaning to the right. I hope you give it a try. Happy knitting!